Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, but I am excited to share something special with you today. Introducing the Nanotech Shader version 2.2.0, 2 a powerful blender shader I have developed to take your 3D projects to the next level. This shader is basically inspired by who? who? The Iron Man. The Iron Man nanotechnology a powerful nanotechnology that Iron Man has so far and <clears throat> it features a procedural growth system that reveals your mesh using an alpha channel. It's perfect for creating stunning organic effects that gradually encore your 3D models in a visually striking way. Let's dive in and see what makes this shader so unique. Alright, so here we are in Blender and this is the Suzanne, the monkey, yeah. So, and here we have the Nanotech shader applied to it. So basically, let's uh, quickly do a demonstration where I can show you how to apply the shader to a mesh. So, Shift A, let's add a monkey again. And uh, where the monkey? So, Control Z, Z, Shift, Shift C, Shift A, monkey. And let's put this monkey here. All right, so let's copy the nanotech shader. And let's paste that here. Let's get it first. Let's get a new uh, material and let's paste this here. So you can see we have three output and three inputs. So for this, we just need to have these three inputs for this demonstration. So let's connect the color to color, alpha to alpha normal to normal and if we switch to EV now it's let's wait for the compiling the compiling is then select the Suzanne and go into the material section and let's set the blend mode to alpha clip and let's wait for it so it's completely gone let's use the animation slider so you can see it's working right away. So we have the color one, which is the basic color of your mesh. Let's set it to blue. And this is the secondary color, which is the nanotech color. So let's set it to red. So now you can see if we animate that, you can see it's working fine. So that's the basic stuff it's doing now here you can see it's uh, it's it is the same setup but with some texture maps so that's not uh, that's not we are going to do well let's delete this monkey X delete select this uh, main monkey and let's demonstrate some new features of this nanotech version 2 first of all we have uh, nanotech color that i show you recently so previously so and second we have uv or global if we set it to global it's become more li linear so you can see it's more linear and the origin of this effect is based on this empty this is the trigger I call it trigger. So that's the first thing done. By the way, you can input some colors into the nanotech color. You can uh, uh, input a texture map. So it take that texture map UV, uh, unwrap around the UVs and do its stuff. So, and also you can connect a second bump, bump, sorry, bump for this uh, nanotech area 
so you can see my PC is little uh, getting little slow because of this let's uh, fix that turn off ambient occlusion and it will fix the problem also if you have screen space reflections enabled just turn that off because it's taking that boy, bad boy taking a lot of power so you can see now we have some bump going on here and we also have hexagons so yeah the bump strength and that's all shit let's add us add something new here hit tab and let's take this strength and let's pick and drag and drop to this uh, socket so let's go back now we have another slider which controls the bump strength of the noise so let me show you zero strength full strength so this is the controller of the noise so that's the basic stuff it's doing so yeah that's that's pretty much it so let me show you a, a different scenario let's turn on the exoskeleton so I have this uh, where is it yeah so I have this exoskeleton from my previous videos so I just decimate that and make that low poly because it uh, takes so much performance power so you can see it's doing its thing I just connect that to normal to normal alpha to alpha and base color to color so if I come up here and increase the bump strength of the noise you can see here and also let's shade smooth let's uh, sorry shade flat let's shade smooth that now you can see more clearly so this is the animation slider and let's if we switch to global it's become more linear right away because in UV mode what it's doing it's wrapping around the UVs of the object of the mesh so that's why it looks good and here it looks linear just a lin just more like a linear vibe and you can make that better you can simply increase the scale of the noise and also the secondary noise let's add some details to make it more good yeah uh, let's uh, yeah you can see that you can play with the settings and do your stuff so the link is down there in the description and you can download that for free no money no honey no sunny all right so thank you guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video meanwhile you can comment down below uh, your favorite stu stuffs you want me to do link uh, link for this nano texture is somewhere in the description and i will pin that in the comments also and love you guys see you